uh, you know, give North Alabama credit. Every time I turn on the tape, uh, against quality, just good teams, they always have a great presence and physicalness about them. It's no different today. Uh, obviously, it was a game we just couldn't stop any dribble penetration. And, uh, you know, just in, in, at the very end, I mean, just two, three, or 19. We got it one, and it was just lay up, lay up. And then you got uh, the one at the end. And uh, so we had really fought our guys to be very tough and be physical in practice the last two days. Not a great game day practice today. Uh, so you could see it coming and get everything in our power. So I'll take full responsibility, but give Northern Alabama credit. Their team played, and even when we had the game up one, you know, with a chance to close it out, we couldn't. And, uh, you know, so it won't be as Merry Christmas as we'd have liked for sure. He's scoring 22 points. What kind of challenge did you kind of see from him on tape and how much did it kind of translate over to the court? Well, I mean, you know, he's a good player. He scores it at a lot of levels and, you know, but he just had his way. I mean, we, we couldn't compete on the ball with him. Our ball screen defense wasn't great. Uh, it was good against Temple. It wasn't good tonight. He stayed in the paint. Uh, didn't really have a lot of, you know, we had eight block shots, I guess, but it was just our inability to, to guard the ball. And they lived in the paint, finished over us, and it was everybody. It was everybody from Matt, Miles, Deshaun, Amari, TJ, James. It didn't matter. You know, it just it was all of us. And so uh, it was just our inability to be able to keep them out. I mean, they're big, didn't score a field goal, you know, 33. It was just a guards game, and give them credit. They made plays when they had to. This game where you'd love to have another one before next Wednesday now? No, no, and well, you know, I mean, yeah, you just not rather have a break. I mean, you know, so it's a, it's a tough Christmas to do it, but you know, you've got to be able to, you know, bad times with teams create, you know, some great opportunities and can create greatness, and hopefully that it's a bad time right here, and the bad time can can go into greatness, and uh, you know, and that's what we've got to be able to do and play in a, a top 10 Tennessee team at home. And uh, all we can do is guys will go home for four days, come back Christmas night, and we'll try to have some great practices, 25th, 26th, 27th, and then be ready to play a really good Tennessee team here at 4 o'clock. Now that you got 12 non-conference games under your belt going into conference play and all that, you talked about you know some of the things that you would like to see and trying to figure stuff out kind of going into that point. How satisfied are you just with the progress that's been made from, from early November? Based to on a day, not very good. You know, obviously we've lost two out of three at home. Uh, that, you know, I thought was a big home stand for us, and we didn't get it done. So, uh, not very pleased with the progress. You know, and so we'll have moments. We've got good guys, really good people in the locker room. Uh, we're just not consistent enough in practice. Not consistent enough as you guys see in games. We can play in spots, and uh, you know we're up ten in the first half and didn't really play good, and then we just couldn't guard the ball and had some loose possessions offensively. So um, not great right now. You know, we, we've got to respond and we got to keep getting better and uh, still trying to find some bigs, still trying to find, you know, just keep trying to play a bunch of guys. And I uh, thought Robert Allen was hoping his toughness would win out in the game, you know, the last seven or eight minutes. And uh, But, yeah, we've got a lot of progress we need to make. Four losses through this last six games, or do you feel like it was something different every night that just wasn't? Yeah, you know, uh, being able to really guard the ball has been been tough for us, you know, and uh, so we're, we're struggling with that. And uh, but at times, like we can have really good ball screen coverage, you know. But then a lot of times it was just those guys just went right at us, and us not being very competitive at the point of attack. Uh, you know, I mean. I guess the consistency you'd like, the main thing is just nine or ten guys just to emerge above, just emerge above, and we haven't. Maybe a couple guys, but, I mean, really just take, okay, this is a guy right here, you know, and we, we've tried them all in the front court, everybody, and everybody's had some moments, but just the consistency of it from practice. So, um, so I just our consistent play of being able to develop a, a, a nine or ten-man rotation that we really, really trust right now. Um, isn't everything, but you guys were significantly higher than I think it was like sixty to three thirteen, something yeah. like that. Where do you guys go from here? How do you how do you keep guys up? Oh ah. gosh, almighty! I mean, you know, there's always a cycle in in athletics. You know, I mean, great times can can create complacency. 
you know, and then it'll recycle, and then all of a sudden you can hit bad times, and then bad times can create strong and great times. It's just a continuous cycle. We all go through it, you know. So, gosh, we've been doing this 40 years. I mean, it's not the first bad time we've had. I mean, you've, you've got to be able to take a bad time and got to create a positive thing, and that's all you can do. I mean, when you just you can put your head down and just get whipped, I mean, but you've got to be able to, to respond to, to tough times. And, I mean, that's all athletics is. That's it. And so, you know, we've, we've got some unbelievable opportunities on the schedule. I mean, we've got Tennessee. We're a top-10 team. And we beat them here two years ago, lost in overtime last year. They're a great team, like a Final Four team. So it's an unbelievable opportunity for us to get our head up and, uh, and play a really good team on our home floor. Talked about wanting to be prettier on offense. Did you see any progress on that end of the floor today? You know, we, I didn't think our ball movement was great. You know, we really struggle. But, God, we really struggle scoring around the goal. Really struggle. I mean, just with our bigs, just really struggle of finishing balls. Try our tail off. I mean, try offensive rebounds. And But, you know, but really besides Miles, I mean, he, he finished some balls. But who really of our bigs really went and got balls and finished them, you know? So we're struggling with that. And, uh you know, so uh, nope. We we just we've got to find a, a. I think what systematically, some things that we're doing can help us. But we're just right now we're not in a in a great place. We got to get another couple three point shooters to emerge. You know, and uh, thought Jamin had some 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 good looks. You know, played good and uh, at times and uh, so, but uh, yeah, we're still trying to find our way. Obviously, as you can tell. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.